Hey guys, welcome back with Stuff Adono. Um, here is a question that needs to be finally answered. How do I mount my GoPro onto my mask? Well, if any of you guys have actually seen me play or any pictures of mine, um, I do have the the Dire i4. Uh, it's the Tiger Lime um, print from 2012. Ever since day one that I saw this thing, I loved it. Um, so I had to by the hunter outfit. So I have the pants and I have the jersey matching. Um, but I'm kind of starting to lean away from it. Okay, so um, when I first started watching uh, GoPro videos for paintball, um, I saw a channel called Al Alabaster Slim and I loved how and how he had everything set up. I love how he can look down his uh, his marker. I love that he can you can see everything that he sees. So I did a little bit of studying and try to find out on how he did it and I found out that he uses a GoPro so um, I did a little bit of research on what he uses as a mount and I finally contacted uh, his buddy George um, I don't know how it properly says the the company but George Ananistan? An An Ananistan? Oh, I, I don't know I'll put it in the description below to his website on how to order a mount uh, but his mounts are relatively cheap they're about like 1820 shipped paid paypal everything like it's, it's phenomenal uh, it's very well built it looks nice actually um it looks when i first saw it i actually thought it was like aluminum or metal but what it is is 3d printing so what it comes with is the actual mount itself and underneath is well let's see if i can get that underneath as well under the the venting it comes with two pieces. It comes with two screws and two nuts. But what it also comes with is like a uh, another nut. Uh, so when you actually screw it into the mount, it all locks up. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I mount mine. And what you need is a 3 8 wrench. The case itself. And of course the GoPro. I'm also just going to show you guys on exactly everything I use myself. Just to get it uh, where it needs to be. So when I have it, most people would actually have it. Let me just uh, kind of tilt the camera the camera up a bit so when I how I how some people may have it is they kind of have it just above uh, their mask how I actually have it is that it's in front of my eyes in a way I can still see past it but it's just kind of in my face that way it can get that maximum um, visual on what you guys can see uh, through it through the camera um, so some things that I actually purchased besides the unanistin mount, you can kind of see, hopefully you guys can see it, it says AE. Um, the mount also comes in different colors. It comes in white, green, red, yellow, blue. Uh, I got the black. Uh, that was the only option at the time. Uh, the only thing is, I've already asked him about the different colors, and he did say... Um, that if you buy the other colors, uh, they're not going to be as strong as the white or as the black. So that's why I'm going to stick with black. So this is something I got from Go Tough Gear. Um, it's like a, a little shark can opener or a bottle opener, and it has these little uh, this little hole so that it can actually fit into here, and you can actually tighten it a little bit better. So it's like a wrench. And here is the other nut that George provides for you just goes on the other end okay so I'm going to tear everything apart this might be a few minute video and I do apologize if it's a little bit long but it will definitely answer a question that a lot of people ask me and it's not that I'm getting tired of it it's just it helps you guys a little bit more so the first bit is I use a long piece and oh crap it's broken because I have to get another one. 
I, I use a longer piece and it goes kind of like a uh, a different not angle but it goes on a different uh, slant so then I'll grab the where is it yep use the counter bit slide it in there this thing is also very dirty and I use a small screw there goes that just came out go just pop that back in all right and then I'll just screw that on use my little wrench make it nice and tight just so it doesn't move on you and then what I'll do make sure it's straight as well so it's nice and straight you can see that it's completely connected so it's like male female straight and now I'll put it onto the <coughs> the Uranus and mount I'll use another small one. Unfortunately, this uh, mount accidentally broke. But I've had this thing for about a year, and it still works. It's, I'm still using it to this day. So the fact that I've been using it for a year, and I have been shot quite a few times with this thing in the face, I'm actually quite surprised it not, has not shattered. So honestly, 10 out of 10 for this mount. Thank you very much, George, if you ever watch this. So I'll find where did I put it? All right, well I just lost it. Oh, I've already put it on. Duh. So then I'll use my wrench. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. It's not tight as I like it to be, but it's it's on there. So next, I'll use a, another male, female, straight, just a small one. It's uh, completely straight now. It's not, uh, it's not like that. You know what I mean. And I'll put that down on there. Use another small. These come in like different colors too. Like they come in black, yellow, red, blue, green. Pretty cheap too. I actually got them from the US. Didn't take long to ship, maybe like two weeks. And once again, I'll use my wrench on this just to make it nice and tight. And then the GoPro itself, this is just the case. And I also have the like ghost backing, the skeleton backing, just so you can, guys can get that more, um, uh, more enhanced uh, sound. I also have the black case just to keep it more low profile. It's a little dirty right now just from the paint, but yeah, it's whatever. So I'll put that on upside down. I'll use a longer screw so it can get past the GoPro. Sorry if my fingers are also in the way here. And if you guys are also off camera, hopefully the light is okay. And once again, I'll just use the wrench, tighten it right up, and then that's how the GoPro sits. So if I put it on, unfortunately right now it's kind of against the lens, which will actually cause scratching. But I'll have it a little bit more out, and I'll tighten everything down. That way it's not hitting the lens or hit, yeah, hitting the, the, the mask lens, and it's um, just being held well and... Yeah, so it doesn't make any noise because in some of my videos, like, yeah, it does make a lot of noise and it's really, really annoying. So, yeah, that's how I mount my GoPro. Um, you can do it either or. Me, personally, I prefer it this way. That way you guys can actually see uh, more of my marker, more see more of what I see. Um, really, my eyes are more here when I have the, the mask on. So the GoPro isn't really in my way at all actually it doesn't really affect my vision very much but uh, my buddy Bryce he actually has it the other way he flips it uh, flips the GoPro he doesn't have any of this um, this going on but he just has it more up more straight that way it's not in his face and uh, the only problem really with this setup is that uh, the mask kind of sits more down on your nose it's kind of front heavy as if it was up on your forehead it's 
uh, not as heavy, it's a lot lighter. So it's completely up to you guys. I just wanted to show you guys on how I do it. Um, sorry if it's a little bit dark. I am using just black and black and green, and I'm also wearing a black shirt, so it doesn't really help. If I was wearing a white shirt, you guys be, would be able to see a lot better. But uh, hopefully that answered all you guys' questions. Uh, this is also kind of on how Alabaster Slim has it, except it's, just, it's more like just one hook and then down. Um, so... Uh, yeah, thank you guys very, very much for watching. Hopefully it wasn't too long of a video.